さあゲームを始めよう I did play Dark Souls 3, never played Remaster, and this is gonna be where I fight that demon, right? Alright. Alright, take that. I win. Okay, cool, I got the demon's great hammer. I'm gonna backstab you. What, where's he going? I'm about to use all of these. Oh, that's a white swing. Did I lose my humanity? Maybe if I pick up my thing, it'll give me back my humanity. Oh, it does. Cool. Oh, no. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What? Is it Black Knight or Dark Knight? I didn't get any of the Black Knight weapons. And because they only respawn once and once you kill them, you don't get the opportunity to get their weapon anymore. I decided to restart the game. I learned with my last character to avoid the stuff on the left and grab this stuff because it won't wake him up. Oh no. A few moments later. I can't believe I freaking got it. Now, the game is mine. For those of you that don't know what I'm doing, I am trying to get a leg up in the game, so I am getting some weapons that will really benefit me in the early game. I'm gonna go ahead and start farming these souls that are here now. I think I am possibly heading in the right direction. I'm a lot less scared in this game now because I have this giant sword. Oh, I lied. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, that wasn't the way I was supposed to go. I 
found the invisible bridge that leads to oh my god I'm just gonna swing my sword very wildly and make it across this bridge oh my god yes I got what I was looking for it's the firekeeper's soul if I return this to the firekeeper I can then reinforce my SS flask which will make the game a little bit more bearable because my SS flask will actually heal me there is a third one you can get but I have to do another step first before I reinforce it for a third time and the reason is because if I reinforce it the third time without doing this extra step I actually lose one of the major NPCs in the game which if you can't tell already is a very unforgiving thing since that person is I think a very pivotal character this is my first playthrough so I'm not really sure I just know that there are things that I have to do before I do something else I need to remove this curse on me because it kind of keeps my health at half. This walk through some fog. Oh, I think, yeah, this is where the Taurus demon is going to appear. I'm going to climb up this and then do a plunging attack to uh, decimate his health. So I guess I'm going to be fighting this guy with like half health. Oops. You die. Okay, where is the demon? I'm really scared. I know he's going to pop up at any moment now. Or maybe not. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm going to run now. Because I only have like... I think one hit in me. Climb faster. Okay, and then a plunging attack. Hey, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I think I just one shot him. Yeah, I did. Well, easy enough. These demon hounds. Oh, one hit. Oh no! Oh, that was scary. Okay. Oh no, there was another one? This is a very scary fight. Managed to live. Yep, sounds about right. Oh god. Okay, I just need to get them all in one straight line. Okay, they can shoot stuff. I think the NPC that I'm looking for is down the hall this way. Oh, looks like there's one more person there. I have a feeling someone's gonna pop out from somewhere. Oh, I knew it. An ambush. Oh, he backflipped. That was spooky. Yes. Oh my god, it cost 6,000 souls. Well then. Wait, I have souls to open up. You know what? I'm just gonna kill this rat too. Or whatever that is over there. Is that a rat? But if I turn right here, this should be Firelink. It is. Oh. Oh, what? He cheats. There we go. I feel like there was a bonfire that I was supposed to be able to go to. No? No? Okay, well, I guess I can't die then. Alright, here is the... Well, it's, I guess, technically the third boss fight. But you can kind of cheese the other two. So here's my first real boss fight, I guess. I don't really know what to expect. I know I'm fighting gargoyles, but am I fighting just the one or two? I wonder if I can one-shot him. Oh, no. I hit harder than you, sir. Oh, there's two gargoyles you're fighting. Okay. I'll finish him off with my smash attack.
and that's why I use the Ultra Great Sword for boss fights. What I want to do now is kill this guy to get the Ring of Favor. So to do that, I'm just going to smack him. Like that. Just going to cheese him. Because you notice, Barda. And then I'm going to quit the game. Hoo-hoo! Oh, there goes Mako again. But he did die and left his humanity... And his ring, thank god. And the ring itself is actually a really good ring. So it's going to give me 20% uh, maximum health and stamina, plus equipment load. The only thing is that I can't take it off or it will break, as seen in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on and never take it off. And two bosses in, well three of you want to be technical about it, but three bosses in, and I am ready to start playing the game. What I did was I went online, looked up some guides to kind of help myself, and I got some amazing weapons. I managed to get the, what was it, Boulder's Side Sword. I upgraded that to plus five. I also got the Black Knight Great Sword, got that up to plus five as well. But I also managed to get the Grass Crest Shield, and what else did I get that was pretty good? Well, the Ring of Favor, Havel's Ring, I... Managed to upgrade my Estus to plus two. And I'm actually going to go upgrade to plus three right now. This is insane. How do I get past that? And if anyone's curious about what guides I'm using for these playthroughs, I'm going to go ahead and link it down in the video below. They've been really helpful in making sure that it minimizes the difficulty that this game can be, at least for me personally. So I hope they help you out as well. Woohoo! Parkour master. Head up these stairs? No, I need that key. That's what I needed. I need this key. And then... I just have to make that jump again. Gotta curl up like a little egg. And I wait here. I think I'm gonna use some humanity though, because there is a black knight and I kinda want his weapon. Well, now I'm committed and I have to fight him because my humanity's down there. This guy's been killing me so much, I looked up a YouTube video how to kill him. So it seems like the strat is to keep him in the middle and to essentially not lock onto him. That makes the fight a little bit more difficult. This is ridiculous. It cost me six humanity, but I did it. Ooh, and I got a Titanite slab out of it. And for anyone curious, I did it at level 32 with a plus five ultra greatsword. Moments later.
I think I finally figured out how to kill it for real this time. And he brings his head over. Oh! I was saying, when he brings his head over, I just give it a whack. And after a couple whacks, I think it'll be dead. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back, you know? And uh, analyze what you're fighting. Cool, I got a dragon scale out of that. And I was able to pick up all this stuff too. I decided to upgrade my armor for this fight. I'm wearing like the elite armor. And you know what? It's just better if I just show everyone instead of having to say it all out. But I decided to change my look. I'm still able to do like the faster medium rolls. And I don't know much about this boss other than that. He has these dogs. Holy crap. Oh, wait. I, I killed him. <laughs> oh, the dog's still alive. There we go. That was a pretty straightforward fight. I think my strength is pretty good right now too. So I'm just going to leave it alone at that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I did a lot, I think. But I'm just going to condense it all into this one video. If you guys like the series, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I am planning to release more content as I finish this game. This is the first of many videos of my playthrough, so I hope you guys enjoy.